What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the kitchen table. This is Better Bad Bite Size and today it's all about Star Wars The Last Jedi. And to give us the director, Udi. The director of said film is Ryan Johnson. And what is he known for? Come on down. Okay, Ryan Johnson's known for Looper. He's going to be one. He directed some episodes of Breaking Bad. Uh, he did um, something called Terriers. Don't know that. Mm -hmm. Brothers Bloom. Uh, Brick. Yes. You guys know Brick, and that's pretty much it. All right. And, and to give us the cast. The cast of the guest show. of the show today is the the what did I the, the center brain of the LTP podcast, the go. Leaving Today podcast, <laughs> because Disney related stuff. You know. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, go. Hey, uh, so we have Mark Hamill playing Luke Skywalker, Carrie Fisher as Leia Organa, Adam Driver as Kylo Ren, Daisy Ridley as Rey, John Boyega as Finn, Oscar Isaac as Poe Dameron, Andy Serkis playing Snoke, Lu Lu Lupita Nuengo as Maz Kanta, uh, Domino Gleason as General Hux, Anthony Daniels as C-3PO, Gwendolyn Christie as Captain Phasma, Kelly Marine Tran as Rose Tico, Lord Dern as Vice Admiral Holdo, Benicio Del Toro as DJ, Frank Oz as Yoda, and Billy Lord coming in as um, Lieutenant Connix. All right. One sentence analysis goes to the originator of the podcast, the Chad, the Get Your Gear Guy, the... I don't I ran out of words to say much. <laughs> anyway, one sentence synopsis goes to Chad. What do you got for us? Never fly a star cruiser on quarter tank. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Should we stop and get gas? No, I know no, how I know how the spaceship gone. runs. We we can make it to empty. <laughs> didn't you see that? Uh, sign Admiral, the first order's here. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. No, it's hey, didn't you see that sign that said next gas and four parsecs? We're fine. Oh, damn it. Yeah. yeah. And that pretty much sums up my synopsis because well, if you take the plot of no, actually, if you take I would say if you take the plot of Mad Max, it's just a long journey. It's this is a kind of a long journey Don't through 50 that. minutes <laughs> of the movie <laughs> where we're trying to figure out how to get away from these surfers, uh, these cruisers that are trying to kill us. And, and you know how you get away? It. You just fly in one direction. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't do anything else. That's all they do. And then the end happens. So, getting on to that, the good parts, the uh, bad plus, the uh, bing. Booty, as always, first. Okay, so my good part to this is, and some people will argue with me, but I like the fact, and I'm, I can't go spoilery, but it challenges everything that is Star Wars. That's where I'm going to go. Do you oh. want me to go not so vague? Not so vague. Okay, so I do like what the development of Kylo Ren. I enjoyed that character arc and how they're pushing him and where we're going with him. Okay. There we go. Chad, what do you got? I like the suspense, the the relationship buildups that keeps you really kind of second guessing where the movie's going to take you. And then once you kind of think you have an idea of where the movie's going, it rips it all away and you're just kind of like, what the crap just happened? Mark. Yeah, I actually like the fact that this movie touches on a lot of um, emotional aspects that we come to like with these Star Wars films. It um, appeals to all the hardcore Star Wars fans and I think it... Uh, makes the new the um, uh, new fans happy. As well. Yeah. Okay. And that's what it's like when you're going after someone who has a better answer than you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because I like Ninja Ray, and if you have seen the movie Ninja Ray, but if I was gonna give you a, a real answer, <laughs> man, you guys took it all. Yep. I would. You're welcome, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, Go for it. It's not the first time. It's ever I know. Right. Um. But I would have to say the, the, the direction that that. Ryan Johnson's taking this this franchise seems to be a good thing. We're deleting, deleting. We're we're getting rid of some hard truths, some <laughs> some stuff that you guys as fanboys love mm -hmm. in order to create something a little more original, a little more expansive into the universe. And I'm more excited about that expansion into this universe and how what we have more to explore. So that's my good thing. And we move on to the bad, the uh, womp womps, the uh, bleh, uh, the, the midichlorian. Bad. Oh, ow, ow, <laughs> ow. Um, I'm gonna steal the easy one because I'm going first. Here we go. The oversat, overdone comedy. Mm. Too much comedy. Too much. Too That's much, or I, didn't work. Didn't comedy. work. Both. Really? Both. Yeah. So 
No, okay, so it was too much comedy, and a lot of it didn't work. There were good points that actually did work very well, hmm. but there's too many. They're outweighed by the ones that didn't work, and that's why it was too much. Okay. Yeah, so oversaturation Ed, with that. What do you got for something that did not work for you? Uh, I will kind of have to go along the same route with the comedy. Um, it messes up with the pacing of the movie, and it seems uncharacteristic for a couple of the characters when it comes in place. And I would even go so far to say that two of the actors break character in the movie. Mm. Like, you watch it, you see it happen, and you're like, is this a blooper reel? Like, am I seriously watching this on the movie right now? Scene. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and it kind of detracts from the seriousness and the tone of the movie. I think if you take some of those things away, the movie as itself stands up a lot better and would probably make a lot of people happier with what happens, not having that in there to kind of detract from the seriousness and the tone that the movie sets for itself. Okay, gotcha. Mark? Um, um, unrealized character arcs. Mm. That was a big down part for me. Such as, I don't think this is going to be spoiler territory, but who is undeveloped in this? In this? I would have liked to see more development from Kylo Ren. I would have liked to see more development from Snoke. Um, those two are the, are the particular... That I would yeah. like to learn more. You only about. get like half a Snoke in the movie. Half a Snoke. <laughs> well, you also said something in our hour-long podcast about Phasma being there for like a split Oh yeah, second. absolutely right. Yeah, Captain Phasma. I would have loved to learn more about that uh, character because Chad pointed out that she um, appears in that book, which I'd never read. But I would love to her- learn her backstory and why she's wearing the armor that she is. I didn't know that. What yeah. book was that, Chad? She's called Phasma. Just called Phasma. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it sets up, you know, why she's wearing that armor, how she's found, how she's introduced to the First Order. All great stuff that would be great in a movie, and they release it in a book for fans who might not know about reading, you know, the books that Disney's put out for this stuff. So Mm. it just kind of gets lost in in the shadow of these movies. Okay. So pretty much my bad stuff is going to be on par with you guys. It's going to be the tone of the movie is kind of wonky. Um, The comedic parts really kind of detached away from the more serious parts obviously but it was also comedic timing that was just it didn't feel like it fit with the world that was created in this movie yep. agreed and i said it before in our podcast it feels very marvel like comedic timing slapsticky stuff if any of you guys have seen thor ragnarok it's on that same vein um not that far, though. Not, a, not as far. Not nearly that but far. But you got to think about the quips, the one-liners. Yep. It's all in that same, I got to force this funny part out, even though it's not part of my character, you know? There's only probably one or two whose characters actually did fit with that role uh, and throwing out those one-liners, but for us, a lot of the other ones, probably not. Which, man, this kind of went a little faster than I thought. Um, <laughs> so if we're going to roundtable discussion... <sighs> I guess I'm starting with you again. Do it, I'm ready. Do it, absolutely. Do but it. you would always say you you would also say do it just because you're still a Star Wars fan and it. Regardless. Well, yeah, but regardless of anything, it's still a good film, a really good film, a really good film. Okay. Regardless of anything. Regardless yep. of all the flaws and all that. Yep. Chad, of course you should go see it because everybody should go see Star Wars movies. <laughs> uh, I think yep. if you didn't know anything about Star Wars and you went in to see this movie, you'd probably be off put by the comedy. Because hmm. you'd sit down and you'd think you're watching this serious movie and you'd be like, why do they keep making these jokes? So like, like if this was like your very first Star Wars If this movie, was the very first Star Wars movie you went into, you'd probably come out being like, meh. Yeah, you'd probably be like, well, I kind of like the story was kind of cool, but like the movie didn't take itself seriously. Hmm. And you'd just kind of be like, was I watching a comedy or a drama? I don't I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Mark, do it. Uh, yeah. abs- absolutely do it. Because um, I think in the end, this film will challenge everyone to... Um, um, let go of what we think Star Wars is and what it can be and it forces us to look at change and change is a very good thing gotcha I'm gonna have to say do it even though as much as I want to be the antagonist of this whole podcast and be like (laughs) hell no Um, you can't do it I'm not as big as the fanboy as the but it still was a fun ride especially the battle scenes Mm. the battle scenes alone is worth the ticket price there's one massive epic epic Fight scenes. And if Epic. all you ever cared about was just that, <laughs> no, that's it. That's it. Anyway, next on the agenda, we don't know. This is actually our last podcast for the year. So we will be putting up together a 2017 best of, mm-hmm. worst of video in the near future, probably in the next couple of weeks. Um, we also had a longer discussion, which ran on for about an hour and a half with these three guys, <laughs> more like that guy. 
talking Guilty. endlessly <laughs> about Star Wars. So if you want to hear all the doodads, all the tangents, uh, betterbad.com. Uh, probably be on the first page because that's where I'm going to put it. <laughs> it's our audio podcast. You'll just you'll, you'll look for it. You'll, you'll find it. Uh, but until then, all our other stuff is on badvibe.com. Feel free to subscribe, like, share, do your thing. Find us on Instagram. Our handle is at Team Better Bad. And drop us a line. Say hi. Tell us we suck. Something. I don't really care. <laughs> he will answer you. I will answer you. Because that's what we do. Yep. So until then, peace.